Welcome to Aluk. Get ready to experience the thrill of unexpected as we navigate through a series of remarkable moments captured on the open road. With each twist and turn, you'll find yourself immersed in a whirlwind of excitement, adventure, and intrigue. Let's go! Luckily, the driver got out unhurt. It's an intersection near our office at Johnson Circle, Highway 29 in Georgia. This occurred at the intersection of 68th and Lake in Rosdale, New Jersey. No one was injured. The dash cam owner saw the hazard and had a bad feeling, so he put his foot on the brake, just in time. Pray that everyone is all right. That is so scary. Distracted or sleeping? Hope they are all all right. Maintain proper lane position and avoid drifting towards the median strip. Stay centered within your lane, dude. He's okay. He taps his rear brakes a little too hard and his rear wheel locks up. Luckily, he is safe. Whoops, that, with a combination of no ABS, swift justice. How does anyone enter a full lane of slow cars without yeah. slowing down? Heaps it's first. So Pay attention, everyone. Oh, dang it. Yeah. What is he doing? I hope this is an insurance fraud. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with the number one. Well done. The Sergeant of the Florida Highway Patrol authorized troopers to take the primary position and deploy a pit maneuver. Everyone, before transporting any cargo, inspect it thoroughly to ensure it's properly secured and contain it within the vehicle. What a nightmare! Be careful on snowy roads, you guys! That thing got creeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Wow, that's too close. Stuff like that happens every hour in big city urban driving. Stay alert, folks. Never act like the few seconds to run a red is more important than the shared safety on the roads. Guys, slow down as you approach intersections, especially if you're uncertain about the traffic flow or visibility is limited. Oh my, what is going on? Stay safe out there, man. It looked like his battery cover wasn't secured. It's a good thing that that driver is fine. No, how did he get his driver's license? no damage to his car, just some of their paint, so we decided not to report this incident. Watch the whole thing if you like. Just go to the Alanis Morissette socials. I hope the truck driver didn't lose too much time over this trailer. What? A classic hit and run? Hope the dash cam owner sends the video to the police. A video store where he works. It's actually a porn video store, which come trial and um, attorney well, will stress it's a hundred thousand dollar glimmer trail. So be bothered anyway, to secure your hay bales, mate. By the time they turn on the tape recorder, it's one. Basically, what saved him was slowing down early to let another driver who was merging into traffic pass. This is a similar situation. Hmm, what is he thinking? No one knows why it suddenly stopped. Never brake check anyone, mate. Nice move. The other car imitated changing lanes. What's wrong with him? Slow down, bro. This is exactly why you have to drive with your eyes open. Where does the money come to fix problems like these, and how quickly do they get resolved? Everyone, let's invest in high quality durable tires. No, plan your route in advance. Familiarize yourself with directions and set up GPS. Ugh, both of them broke the rules at the same time. Glad there were no injuries. top Mustang owner forgot to properly latch down his roof glass. Lucky for him, that SUV didn't hit the barrier. No, man, don't try to beat the red light. Hope he gets a ticket. Ah, uh, check your rear view mirror, man. Cherry on top was this was in New York's Don't DMV parking lot. What the f Take your license away. 
This happened on October 13, 2013 on I-5 freeway in Los Angeles, California. This incident is avoidable if the Hyundai driver doesn't stop at the entrance. Don't brake check anyone, bro. Ah, uh, pretty sure the dash cam owner had a right of way. What just happened? Things happened in Perrysburg, Ohio. No one was injured. The emergency braking on that train was pretty impressive. You can really hear the brakes working as hard as they can to stop the train. This happened on WV10 freeway in San Gabriel around 4 p.m. Great job to the truck driver. He was able to keep control of the truck in this situation. Oh dear, rookie mistake. Perhaps he never saw the yellow diamond clearance sign next to the traffic light. Don't drive and drink. The guy in the red pickup truck got arrested for a DUI. Well, I still didn't understand how that happened. What matters is he's okay. Luckily, both the bike and rider were fine. Looks like the white truck's entire windshield was covered with snow before the impact. Things happened in Orlando, Florida. Please drive safely, guys. That is so scary. At least no one was hurt. No, I know we aren't all perfect, but how do you push another truck onto the shoulder like that? Glad there was a dash cam footage to forward it to the company. Thank I hate impatient people like this. Do not imitate this. Situation. And of course my example always for this is... Oh no, what is he doing? This occurred in St. Petersburg, Florida. Be careful at intersections, folks. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with a number one. This chase is a great example of how the Colorado Highway Patrol uses its resources to ensure public safety. Good job, officer. The black SUV crossed the center turning lane into oncoming traffic and had a front offset collision with a white work truck. Everyone is all right. Hey bro, before entering the intersection, scan all directions for approaching vehicles. Missing the exit so hard they ended up back in the fast lane. Be careful guys.
challenge. And Universal Great has reflexes. just reiterated that Keep your guardian it angels wants its artists to be compensated fairly for their work. Universal has just reiterated. Bravo, bro. Nice reflexes and calm composure. This is what happens when you run red lights. Fortunately, no one was seriously injured. Ah, oh, can you see snow day surprises in St. Louis, Missouri? It was way worse during that black ice I had a few weeks ago. No, why is the black car parked there? This is the same case. <laughs> Guys, if we were to drive defensively, such an incident would not happen. Truck and trailer towing takes some getting used to. Maybe he's a newbie. Who's beeping? of why crossing train tracks should always be done with caution. <laughs> well, it's the importance of regular tire inspections and safe driving practices, folks. When things go sideways in a blink, at least nobody got hurt. Drill 436, we have a 1050 rollover. My heart beat out of my chest when I saw this, so I can't imagine how these motorists felt. Y'all drive safely out there. Luckily, he had a helmet on. Otherwise, another injury was yeah. incoming. He's okay. Was I was, I was like, I'm going down. Well, it was a common incident in this type of curve. Glad he's fine. This is an illustration of what happens when people fail to obey the move over law, also tailgate at highway speeds. Stay safe, folks. Hmm, I think both are at fault in this case. Well, why are folks in such a rush? I don't comprehend. Turning vehicle is at fault for not waiting until after the red to complete their turn. Camry might have been speeding, but they had the right of way. I'm figuring that she wasn't used to driving in an area, so she had to use her phone. At least no one was hurt. Things occurred in West Middlesex, Pennsylvania. Thankfully, all of them are fine. 
No, good clear vision. Maybe it was because they were distracted. Oh my, the driver was charged with a DWI. Fortunately, nobody was inside the parked car at the moment. In this video, you'll see the Arkansas State Police chase a driver who is driving without a license. Oh no, man, check for any signs of looseness and address any issues before hitting the road. Everything's fine. <laughs> Remember guys, adhere to the cement mixer's maximum load capacity and avoid overloading the vehicle. Excessive weight puts added stress on the tires. Well, the driver tearfully begged the bus driver not to call the traffic police. Do not imitate this. Wow, I've had this happen before. Anyway, he is so lucky. Maybe he has his guardian angels. Well, they think it's better to be macho than to live another day. Do not imitate this. Hope owners of the cars don't have to foot the bill. Good luck to you. <laughs> Who is at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comment box. For those who don't know, the truck driver had long abandoned the truck. So don't worry about him. This happened in Stanton, Texas. No one was hurt. No, what just happened? Hmm, tanker truck might have sideswiped the box truck. That's my guess. What about you? A clear example of when it would be worth choosing a lower speed for such weather conditions. This time the driver was lucky. There were no cars in the oncoming lane. Wow, 90 miles per hour on a wet road. This could have ended a lot worse. A Toyota Camry drove into the oncoming lane, where he collided with a Chevrolet, which in turn was thrown into a Lexus. The incident was caused by traffic inspectors who caused a traffic jam. Better to lose a second of your life than to lose your life in a second. Never run a red light, folks. For the first couple of seconds, I thought it was just an incident. Then later, he was cruising down the wrong side of the road, and I thought, yeah, this was crazy. I know the bus driver is technically at fault, but the train could have swerved to avoid him. Wow, a plane emergency landing on a Louisiana highway. The pilot and the truck driver seemed to keep their composure during the unusual situation. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video.